What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I have something awesome for you. We end up catching a cichlid, tons of largemouth bass, and a peacock bass, all off this amazing swim bait. In the last episode, we end up using the same exact like model, but we end up using the bluegill color. In this episode, we use the largemouth color, and we call largemouth with a largemouth color. Such a good video today, guys. Lots of fish and an amazing peacock at the end. There we go. We got one. Let me take him over here. Yes. I think this might be a cichlid. Maybe we foul hooked him too. I don't know. Yeah, this is a cichlid. There we go. First fish of the day. That's a nice cichlid. That is a fat cichlid, dude. Wow, that was so sick. I think we might have foul hooked him actually too. That's the thing. Just look at how orange this fish is. This fish is so pretty. That is such a pretty fish. Oh, this is such a cool catch too. Oh, that was a nice hit. Oh my god, this is a chunky bass. This is a good one. This is a good one. That was sick. He hit that so deep. Wow, dude, this is a nice bass. Oh my god, look at the size of this guy. That's like a three pounder right there. That was sick. That was so sick. Such a nice fish. You know, I was fishing like a over there like in the brush for about 30 minutes and I only caught that cichlid. It was really hard with the weeds and just could not get it to sink. But I started fishing the middle, second cast, and we catch a beast. There we go. This is a nice one. A little smaller than the last one. Let's go. I have to be quiet because there's a lady with her dog. Guys, not a bad largemouth. That was a great, fun catch. Hit out in the middle. Put up a pretty good fight. Let's get a release. I had to be quiet because uh, I'm fishing in people's backyards right now. And that lady has her dog out. I don't want to be too loud, you know? Like an obnoxious fisherman, I guess. Oh my god, right at the shore. That was sick. That was so clean, that was so clean. You could see him hit it right at the shore. I bet you could see with the GoPro too, right in like that little shallow spot where there's no grass. Oh my God, that was so clean. And he's a football too. There are some footballs in here. They're all like two, three pounders. Another nice fish. That's like a three pound, maybe two and a half pound bass. That was so cool. He hit it right at the shore too. I, I knew we were gonna catch one off this pipe. Oh my God, did you see that? That was insane. That was a bass. A bass just jumped right in front of my bait. I don't know if he was after it or what. I should have flipped right in front of him, but oh my God, that was insane. I, I've never seen that up close. Like him just jumping. I don't even, I don't even think he was going for my bait. I think he just jumped up. That was insanely cool. right here that was such a nice heat right at the shore let's go we did not lose this one too and i could be a little louder now that the lady's not in her backyard yes that 
that is a nice bass that is a nice fat healthy bass let's go hit it right at the shore that's what i'm talking about i actually ended up losing the bluegill swim bait right here yesterday and i was in the water looking for it so i'm surprised i didn't spook him he must have been hanging right on the edge or followed it to it so that is a nice chunky bass right there let's see if we can get another one Oh my god, that's a huge peacock. That is a huge peacock. Watch, watch this, watch this. That is a huge peacock bass. Oh my god, that was a huge peacock bass. That's his bed right there. I thought those were tilapia beds. That's a peacock bass bed. Oh my god, that was a huge peacock bass. It's his spot, but I am not leaving until I catch that peacock. Because I know I can. I know where he is and everything, so... Oh, there we go. Nice large mouth. That is not what we're after, but we'll take it. Here we go. Did I have two fish on? Wait a second. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I think I might have had two fish on. And then this one ended up getting it. That was insane. Even if I didn't have two fish on, that was still an insane hit. But look at dude. Look at this little guy. This guy's like teeny and he hit that swim bait. It's almost the size of him. Teeny largemouth, but that was an awesome, awesome hit. Hit it right at the shore. One more fish and I think I'm going to have to retie because my line is pretty frayed. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was so clean. He hit it right at the shore. I think this might have been the other one. If there was two that ended up hitting my line. I don't know, but that was so clean. Just hit right at the end. Another large mouth immediately after the last one. What a nice fish right there. That was so cool. Put it right at the shore. There we go. Oh, that's a nice large mouth. That was such a good hit too. Yes! Oh my god, that's a nice largemouth. Little chunky guy. Another largemouth caught for the day. We've had a lot of luck with these guys. Caught a cichlid too. Caught him right over there. Let's get a release on him. And then we're gonna head back down to the peacock spot. Maybe give this a few more casts. And then I think we're gonna have to go because I'm running out of battery. There he goes. There we go, we have something. I think this might be him. I think this might be the pink car. Maybe not, because he's actually not fighting as hard as I would imagine he would. There he goes though, actually. He's making a bit of a run. I don't know what it is yet. This is him. This is the peacock. Yes! Oh my god, this is the peacock. Yes! He's fighting pretty hard now. I guess that's what I get for saying all that. Oh, he's just barely hooked. Yes! We got the peacock, guys! 
Oh my God, I'm so happy. You know, he's not as big as I would imagine. Maybe there's two of them. There's gotta be two of them on the bed because I swear I saw a bigger one. But this might honestly be him too. Yes, I'm so happy we caught this peacock. I even said we we're gonna give him some time to rest and we, everything went exactly according to plan. Like I had a whole plan. It's gonna give him some time, come back. And we got put on the peacock, guys. I am so happy right now. Let's go. These fish are just so distinguishable. It's so fun to catch. They fight kind of like Jack Ravel because they shake their head. I'm gonna get a picture with him. That is such a nice fish. I'm so happy we caught this peacock, guys. Right off of his bed. Yes, that is the highlight of my day. These guys are just so fun to catch. There you go, it's still so aggressive. I am so happy right now, that was so good. We planned the aisle and everything. Well, I'm just now leaving and uh, even though today started out really slow, we ended up only catching a cichlid in the plantings. We ended up catching a lot of largemouth, like solid two, three pound footballs out in the middle. And then finally we caught that peacock. I wanted to catch that guy so bad and we just, we nailed that, we did everything perfectly there. But uh, I couldn't ask for a better day. Today was pretty incredible. Anyways, guys, peace out.